majority of people they What's up they, guys? <clears throat> What's up? This your boy in the big man chair in the bedroom. Your boy Kamari 2009 aka that Reno Slow Motion up in here. Hey, there's a lot of people I didn't get to send shots out to, so I'm gonna try to do it now. Uh, cocky, oh so cocky, uh, aka cocky from DL. What's up? Um, I got a friend on here named Amir, but I don't know their their page. Um, let's see what else. Oh, uh, <laughs> Romeo Bossolina, what's up? I see you got a page on here, but go by Rome. Uh, Malik D, my trans bros, um, Charles, he's really good, good FTM guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of other other people, I really, really can't send, I'm just saying mad shots and love at the beginning of this video, but I can't make it too long. Um, this was a request from a subscriber on my YouTube, and they always uh, ask me this question, but I have not been able to make a video about it because I've been busy, I've been working, so now since I have the time, I'm going to go ahead and address it. Uh, they wanted to know why do studs are touch me not. And she is like, since I'm really blunt and honest, I said I'll go ahead and do the video on it. Because I know a lot of people wondering why there are a lot of touch me not studs. And I'm going to say this. I think there are a lot of touch me not studs because they're not in touch with their feminine side. Meaning that, you know, they don't know how to handle that. They used to having that dominant role, you know, if I wear the pants in my relationship, I look aggressive, and I sit up here and I go in the bedroom, and then you make me moan, I'm going to be sounding soft, and, you know, I'm going to be feeling feminine, or, quote, be a bitch, or something like that. Personally, I don't see the purpose of it. You're still a female. The whole object of you being a lesbian and wanting to be with another lesbian is, you know, you're supposed to be partners. It's an equal, equal. She gives, you receive, she re you receive, she gives. That's you sharing your body with another woman. You can't really just be a lesbian and not want to share your body with another woman. You just can't share your exterior, the way your appearance is, and then you expect her to just be like, okay, take what she, you know, you give her pleasure, and then that's all she gets. You know, that's not really cool. Um... I think there's a lot of studs that's really insecure with their sexuality. Which I'm not saying that they don't know they're a lesbian. It's just that they not they can't deal with the concept of being feminine for somewhat, you know, in the relationship. It doesn't mean you feminine hundred percent. It just means you giving yourself to a woman. And if you, if that's a problem, then maybe you shouldn't be a lesbian. My thing is the whole touch me not. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, maybe you need to check out your set, you know, yourself. And, 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 I don't know. I mean, it's really hard to say why they do that. And I think it's just because they're not, like, really in touch with themselves. They think just because you wear the pants that you can be pleased, um, physically. Or that the man, quote, if you know, playing the dominant role that you're always supposed to be the one who's giving. That is not true. I mean, men these days, look at them. Straight men receive 24-7. Now they think that's about the best thing in the world. So why is it that straight men can do it and they just okay with it? But if this is you are being a lesbian woman, you can't give yourself to another lesbian woman. I thought being in a lesbianism that it's a woman loving another woman. Okay, what part of, you can't make love to a person you love? If you love that woman, why can't you let her make love to you? And why can't, you know, if you give her pleasure, why can't she give you pleasure? I don't see the really whole purpose of that. I mean, I've been trying to understand this for a couple of <clears throat> months and stuff, and I've been hearing about it. And I don't, I don't see the point of it. I really don't get it. Um, you want to always be the aggressive one. 
so you don't want her to touch you or you don't want her to go down on you. Okay, now if you have unless you have a problem down there, I don't see the really purpose of you not letting her go down there. I'm sorry. I can't really knock you on it because I used to be like that. I really used to. I used to be one of them touch me not when I was doing the whole stud label, which I don't like labels. But when I was doing that whole title, you know, it was I was like, you know, I'm the dominant role. I don't wanna be have no girl go down to me and me moaning and I sound girl and I feel like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to feel like that. So I understand to a certain extent. I used to be like that. But then I got older and I got more mature. I wise the fuck up. Because I'm like, if I love this person, I can't, and I, I love them and I please them, why is it just one way? Why can't I let her touch me and please me the same way? That is wrong. That is very wrong. And when I grew up and I realized that, you know, I was like, when I finally just said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and let you do it. I found out what I was missing. Look here. Wake up, Stan. You are missing a lot. And what I mean is a lot of you missing out on someone who wants to show you something great. She wants to share her temple with you as well as you share your temple with her. She don't want to be just the person you hold hands with, someone you just kiss with, someone you just lay next to and cuddle with. She don't want you just to let her touch on your breast. She want to give you pleasure. And if you can't let her give you pleasure, believe me, there is going to be another person that's going to scoop her up and take her cookies. And then she's going to give them all them loving cookies of hers. You know, she's going to give them the satisfaction that you could not give her. Like they say, what you won't do, another person will do. So I'm saying, if you will touch me not stud, drop your guard for once. You don't always have to have that wall of being the dominant role. You can loosen the fuck up sometimes. There's nothing wrong with loosening up. There's nothing wrong with letting another woman give you that pleasure. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, if you'll touch me not stud, just 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 drop your guard for once. Once. And and she will be happy. You will see the end results. You see what I'm saying? She you will see the end results. She will love you. She will fall head over heels and love with you all over again. Because you gave something, that special part of you that you that you don't want to share with a man to her. So that's my thought on it. So Y'all, yeah, it's your boy Kamar2009 rocking up on that green. Y'all hear me back with some video topics and I'm out. Peace.